Dear students, I love you too. Perhaps we love you, 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 we I love you more. Thank you. Thank you. No. So I have one with your love. My first greeting on arriving at this campus is for you. To all of you, I offer the peace and joy of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am told that you have held an all-night prayer vigil. And I have slept. And who is loving more? And all I pray you to ask God's blessing on my visit. Thank you most cordially for such a wonderful expression of communion with me and for such a beautiful gift. I would like to talk to you at length. I would like to listen to you and know what you think about yourselves and the world. But the time I have been given is so short, short time. One thing you have told me already, by choosing to welcome me with the offering of your prayers, you have demonstrated that you understand what is most important in your life. Your contact with God, your searching for the meaning of life by listening to Christ as he speaks to you in the scriptures. I am pleased to know that reflection 
on spiritual and religious values is part of your desire to live fully this time of your lives. Materialistic concerns and one-sided values are never sufficient to fill the heart and mind of a human person. A life reduced to the sole dimension of possessions, of consumer goods, of temporal concerns, will never let you discover and enjoy the full richness of your humanity. It is only God in Jesus. God made men that you will fully understand what you are. He will unveil to you the true greatness of yourselves.